Welcome, DeAndre. Thank you so much for making time. Welcome to the FinGen show. And we're really happy and excited to uh, speak with you today and learn a little bit more about you and your journey. So just for the audiences with us today, I would love to hear a little bit about who you are and how you got here. Okay, well, my name is DeAndre Borrell. I am a connected, trusting, vulnerable leader. That's who I am. Uh, I am extraordinary. I am amazing. I am everything. That's who I believe I am. And I'm from San Jose, California. That's where I was born. And then I moved to Oakley, California, a small city up north. I went to high school up there and then graduated and then played uh, at Utah State University on a full ride scholarship. And then uh, signed a free agent contract to the Green Bay Packers in 2011. So after that, I played for a couple more teams in Tampa Bay and then Tennessee Titans and then other professional indoor leagues as well as overseas in 2019. Put my trust in the Lord, uh, pray uh, Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. So that's who I always go to when I need something. Well, thank you so much for sharing that. I appreciate that. So what did you study when you went to school? Uh, so I was interdisciplinary studies. So it's just multiple things, whether you're taking a sociology class, uh, physical education class. So that's what I graduated with. Very cool. And it sounds like you've had a really nice professional career as far as, you know, playing per se, right? So. Yes, definitely. I enjoy my time. Of course, I still want to play, uh, but if it's in God's will, then, you know, then yeah. that'll be great. It'll be icing on the cake to be able to run a business and, you know, do all those other things and play. Yeah. So when did you start your business? What year was that? Uh, so that was 2016. Uh, I was training one athlete. Uh, they actually found me on an app and they messaged me. <laughs> yeah, they messaged me. So that's when I got my first client. Uh, they were very consistent and then uh, started getting more clientele. So 2016 is when I started. That's awesome. Well, congratulations. I mean, why, most people, once they graduate, they're looking for a job. What made you start this business? Well, uh, after playing uh, football professionally, uh, there's, of course, there's th certain things that I went through. Uh, finding out what I wanted to do and uh, training was one of them. You know, I've been working out my whole life, uh, playing professional training, running, agility. So I was like, you know what? I can help other people uh, become great as well. And I love seeing kids and adults uh, being excited about what they're doing physically, mentally, and spiritually. That's awesome. So, I mean, that's a really great to be able to find it, uh, you know, as you keep unfolding your career per se, right? So that's awesome. And when did you think you made this transition from the side hustle per se, you know, back in 2016 to this, like, you know, this is what I do and this is who I am. I made that decision in 2019. And uh, after I came back playing overseas, of course, I was still running the business. Um, I was supposed to play in Oakland last year for an indoor team. So that was close to home, but they canceled that season. And, um, you know, I was looking forward to it because I knew I was going to be in the community, being active in the community. And 2019 made that decision. 2020, things started being a little bit more clear or became clear. And then I just kept pushing forward to what I wanted. And then I just, you know, I had the, the plan. And it's still in progress, uh, just putting the right pieces together so it becomes what I want and not someone else's vision. Well, thank you so much for sharing that. I mean, that's a, what a journey to, to be able to do this in Finland and come back and decide that this is what you want to do. And I'm sure at one point last year, you thought, what was I thinking <laughs> with COVID? But maybe you're not. Maybe it was a blessing. I don't know. I'd love to hear a little bit more about how were you able to face COVID and how do to, to, you kept going? Well, you know, during that time, it was some, some growing pains. You know, sometimes I was going into bad habits, back to bad habits, and I was moving forward. And, um, you know, a little bit towards the end of the year, uh, like November, December of 2020, is really when I started honing in on it. Uh, focusing, praying more, praying out loud, 
And that's when God just kept showing me and telling me what to, to, what to do, where to go, how to do it. And I've just been obedient with what he told me to do and uh, trusting him for uh, the will for my life that he has for me. Thank you so much for sharing that. We're going to take a short break uh, and we'll be right back. Welcome back, DeAndre. Uh, what a story. So November comes and you, you, you're getting more messages of how to do this. Did you have to do any special changes in your business model? Because I'm assuming a lot of the, what you're doing in person, right? So did you have to move to uh, online or were you able to transition to somewhat a hybrid model? I'd love to hear a little bit more about that. At that point, I was doing some online when I was still in California. I uh, had a few clients going outside, uh, spaced out. Uh, the business was slow. Uh, I feel like everybody's business was slow during that time because of the restrictions. Uh, but I was going online as well as outside. And, uh, you know, I made the move to Memphis, Tennessee in February. But in January, when I got my answers from the Lord and he just kept pointing me in the right direction, you know, I was just thankful for the clients I did have in California. And I thanked them for everything and for them believing in me. And that's the main thing for them believing in me and trusting me and trusting who I was to help their kids or just help uh, them stay healthy as adults. Very Thank cool. Uh, Dondre, I mean, where do you see uh, this is going? Where do you see your business? Where do you want to see your business? I just want to see it do well and be big as in me not being the only person training clients right i want other trainers to be a part of what i'm doing and also grow in themselves and have the same vision you know i want them to be able to come and join uh, as a team and have the same vision and be able to teach the kids or talk to the adults um, the same way i things that i want for this gym just different ways of training uh, mentally physically and spiritually to help people perform not just in sport but in life sure yeah i'm sure there are lots of lessons that you learned to be where you are now that you could probably guide others to maybe share some of your insights of what you did this is fantastic my um you know entrepreneurship as you know dandre is ups and downs right so i mean you went through covid but you probably went through other things in the past i'm curious to hear from you What's been your highest moment and what's been your lowest moment per se? And I'm sometimes in entrepreneurship, I say it could be the same moment, <laughs> but I'm curious to hear from your perspective, what was your highest point and what was your lowest point? Uh, I feel like, you know, one of the lower points is probably in California during the COVID, you know, uh, not having somewhere to train people, yeah. you know, just all right, what do we do from here? How do we do it? Uh, are we able to do it? I was, it felt like I was stuck. Yeah. It didn't make me sad, but it did have me reevaluate things to see where I can go. Cause you can always grow and you can always go up, right? Yeah. You see what goes wrong, but you know, it can get better and go right. And when I moved out here, the high point is just, you know, people not knowing who I am, and seeing the value in who I am and wanting to work with me, not just because of my background, but who I am as a person. And yep. that's big. Yeah. That's great. I mean, yeah, the, I mean, we're trying to do, as you know, with the show is to demystify entrepreneurship because sometimes we just think that it's all uh, green on the other side. But the reality is there are ups and downs in anything like anything else you do in life, whether it's a job or something else. And one of the goals that we're trying to do, DeAndre, as you know, is to really break those myths and break those barriers. Say, hey, you could have good days, you could have bad days, but you just keep going. And this is exactly what you did, right? You didn't stop because you went really down. You just said, hey, let me figure this out. What else can I be doing? What else can I be utilizing these cool skills to do something and move forward with my business? 
Fantastic. I appreciate you sharing that because we actually have a whole program with about resiliency and how resilient people do these things to keep their business going. And you can like somewhat described it, right? You go through the process, you kind of like learn how to do it. And then you pick up yourself and you look forward to see what can you do with what you got now, not what you wish you could have, right? (laughs) Because we all wish we could have different things. Thank you so much for sharing that. Clearly, Don DeAndre, we could keep you here all day asking you questions to learn more about you and your journey. I want to say thank you for making time. I want to say thank you for sharing your story and I wish you great success. Stay in touch. Thank you. I appreciate you and you stay blessed as well. <laughs>